Welcome to Comic Toy Reviews. This is a review from Toy Biz. It was part of their 6 inch scale of Spider-Man action figures in that line. I think it, I think it was called Web Cannon Spider-Man. And uh, this one is based style-wise on the art of an artist called, I think, Pablo Riviera. If you look uh, at this one-shot issue he did, this in sculpt looks like that figure. And there was a pose when he was on like a wall or something. And uh, he was posed crouched over. Uh, something like this. And I think that is the inspiration for this action figure. The one thing I'll, I'll say about it is that it was meant to be crouched and posed. Like you see here that he's on the floor. And just looking up. Something like that. I'll explain why soon. But just to know if you get the figure. It looks great in detail and sculpt. But it's just meant to be crouched real low, like he's basically hugging the wall or the floor and crawling. That's what uh, it was meant for. The face sculpt is really great. I like the small eyes look that this figure has. The small details, a very webbed face. This is just like that art used in the book, the chest symbol here. That symbol here, the spider, just like that issue that uh, Pablo Riviera drew. And the costume here is black and red, not blue. And the one thing that makes it uh, crouching pose-wise is that there's no articulation here. You can see the sculpt that it's curved backwards. It's really arched back and you can't put it forward. So other than a standing pose, you really can't uh, do a lot of articulation poses with it because of that back that is so curved backwards and it's all stiff leaning forward that it's really meant to for a crawling position. That's just my opinion of it. The head, side to side, up and down, really nice posing you could get out of it. The shoulders here got that in and out uh, articulation point. The ball jointed shoulders up and down, in and out. Bicep cuts, same thing here. Double articulation right at the elbow. Right above the glove there, articulation point. The wrists in and out. It has the four fingers here are on one hinge articulation. Same here, the four fingers are connected. There's nothing there, as I said, on the upper body. And the waist does turn. And the lower body, got the ball joints in and out, up and down. Uh, right there, curved there. It only has one knee articulation point at the knee, which is kind of a surprise, just one. And the boot here right above the boot articulation. It has very nice feet there for up and down and full ankle rocker side to side but no toe articulation. Same here. Up and down, ankle rocker side to side, no toe articulation. So overall some articulation is missing but if there's one figure that you want for like a crawling Spider-Man or crawling position You really can't go wrong with this uh, Spider-Man figure if if that's uh, something you want on the shelf. But standing, no. I, as I said, I would just recommend something like posing it, looking up, or a bottom view like that. This is where this figure will excel on a display. It's a good figure, not great, but I like it. And, and as I said, the intent when I put it on display, it is something like this, and it works for the figure. Uh, but other than a, a position like that, it's not going to really work or look good on a display. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Hey, where's the big-eyed Spider-Man?
you called? 